thinking of selling your house, but you don't know what to expect, that's what I want to explain to you today. So stay with me. Welcome back. This is Natalia Echeverri with Cobo Banker. And today I want to talk to you about the process of selling your home. I feel that there is a lot of information about first time buyers, but not about first time sellers or probably people that sold their house a long time ago and they don't know how the process works and or probably they forgot first thing that happens in the process is you've been showing the house you've received offers okay so that will be the first step the offers that buyer's agent is going to send you a contract with different terms and conditions you and your real estate agent will go through all the offers nowadays you probably receive many of them so you will go through all the offers and then you you'll analyze what is best for you, what's best for the buyer, and at the end, what is the best scenario for you, money-wise, time-wise, price, conditions, inspection period, all that. So now we will move to the earnest money. The earnest money is a good faith deposit, meaning that that buyer is really into buying the house, he's showing you a good faith, giving you that that deposit. It can be whatever they want. It can be 1%, 2%, it can be a fixed amount, 10,000, 50,000, whatever they want. The buyers that I really, really like your house and wanna buy it, they also go a little higher so they can compete with all other offers showing that they're more committed to buy the house because they're giving you a higher deposit. The earnest deposit money has to be in the title company within three days after the contract is executed. It means that once everybody signed the contract, when the contract is signed by all the parties involved in the transaction, that's the executed date of the contract. Another important point when you're making that decision on those offers that you receive is the inspection period. You have five days up to 15 days. For a seller, it's always better if that inspection period is just like five days, seven days. Why? Because in that inspection period, you're still negotiating. If something is wrong with the inspection, you can be uh, back and forth, maybe repairing what needs to be repaired or giving that buyer a credit. Or if the buyer decides whatever the inspection shown is not something that they're really willing to accommodate, is something that they're not happy with, they can just back out of the contract. After that, we have the title work. That is when the title company starts working on everything related to the property. Lean search, they will do a survey, they will do all kinds of research to make sure that the property is in good standing as far as taxes as well, everything related to that. So one of the most important things that comes up next is the appraisal. Normally when the buyers are financing, that mortgage lender or that bank requests an appraisal. That is going to be important because it's going to give them the value of your property. If the appraisal comes up lower, there is another negotiation that has to be done because of course the bank doesn't want to finance something that is not worth the money. So in there, there is another, you know, step for you to negotiate with that buyer just in case if the appraisal comes up like higher there's no problem the the sales price will be the same and everything will continue as planned and one of the most important parts and the happiest is the closing day always check again because you never know something might happen you might be able to close sooner or maybe a little later just because but like 80 percent of the times 
the date that you put and the contract as a closing date will say the same. Um, probably a day before or maybe if you're closing in the afternoon, in the morning you will perform a walkthrough. A walkthrough is when the buyers go to the house for the last time and they walk around and they make sure the house is in the same condition that they saw it. If they saw like a building closet and it's not there, it might be a problem because you sold your house and you presented the house with that building. So you make sure everything stays the same. You don't want any issues in that walkthrough. They make sure that all the appliances are working, that the house is in perfect condition. After that, you go like probably the next day or in the afternoon and you do the closing. For the closing, you have to bring your driver license, very important. That's when you sign all the documents and that mortgage lender or that bank or the money will be wired to your existing mortgage if you still have a debt in your house. If not, all that will be wired, will be, will be wired to you. And that's it. Keys are given to the buyer and everybody's happy. At that point, you're no longer the owner of your house. Now the buyers will take possession of the property and everything will be nice and clear on your end. As I mentioned, if you owe any money, everything will be um, paid and clear by the title company. I hope this helps. Remember, these days is really, really important that you use the help of a realtor. Please, a lot of people think that because of the market is really hard, they do not need one. But please think twice. We're here to help. We are always working on your best interest. And I hope to hear from you soon. If you really are ready to sell your house, call me. If you're not, let's talk about how much your house is worth and maybe in a year or two, five, whatever it is, we can talk again. Thank you again and I will see you next week.